Elix Era 5780, EOS80 and Helios80 are the only smart variometers on the market with internet capability. Every supplied device is equipped with a Wi-Fi module that brings connectivity to the device. Today we will present functionality of Elix Cloud on standalone Era 80. Same functions are available in the smaller 57 device. When connected, ERA is able to synchronize database for Turnpoint, Airport, Task and FlowerNet. When using WigLite, it is able to synchronize flights and tasks you have created with WigLite. It is possible to automatically sync all the flights and to send them to the email OLC WigLite CU soaring spot. When enabled, it can perform an automatic update over the air for the latest software. To start using Alex Cloud, we should first connect ERA with internet via Wi-Fi. If you are a long-time user of Alex ERA, please make sure you have installed the version 2.0 or later and check that your Wi-Fi network module, called Odin, is up to date. You can check the version by going into Setup, Service, Device Info and check for Odin version. It should be 7.1.0 or greater. In case you do not see the version, please contact your dealer or Alex Navigation for further instructions. Now go to Setup, Network and set the wireless mode to Wi-Fi client. The device will try to find all nearby Wi-Fi hotspots. You can connect to a public or private Wi-Fi hotspot. But most convenient way to connect your device to the internet is to create a hotspot on your smartphone. Select network you want to use and enter a password. ERA will try to connect and if successful, will save the password for easier connection in the future. Next time, when you come close to a hotspot that is known to a device, the unit will connect automatically and notify the user with a pop-up message. Once connected, we should link our device with an Alex Cloud account. To do so, go to Setup, Pilot, and select the pilot you want to connect with Alex account or create a new one. Enter Cloud ID and the device will try to connect with an Alex Cloud and synchronize the data. If you are an owner of a device, also add a device to Alex Cloud with a Cloud Ownership ID. You can learn more about this in the video dedicated to Alex Cloud usage. You can check the active connection by going to Setup, Cloud, Cloud Info. When connection is established, unit will display name of a linked Alex Cloud account together with all enabled services. You can check the status of connection. When the connection is active and Alex Cloud is correctly configured, you should see sign authenticated. Now we can start using all the enabled services. Most of the configuration is done on the Alex Cloud. Please check the other video to get more information on how to perform this. All configuration on a device related to Alice Cloud are done in the Setup Cloud. If Auto Update is enabled, the device will check if a new update is available. When available, it will ask user for a permission to perform an update. AutoSync database will perform synchronization of the databases. Device database is maintained on the Alice Cloud by a device owner. In order to manage this, it's important to add the device as a device owner to the Alice Cloud. This is very convenient for a club operation. You can make sure that all devices in a club are preloaded with the latest Turnpoint Airport airspace files from a comfort of your computer or tablet with no need to use clumsy USB or SD cards. Please check the video on Alex Cloud to get more information on database management. Autosync of flights when enabled will perform sync of all the flights from a device with Alex Cloud immediately after the flight is finished. If there is no active internet connection, it will perform synchronization as soon as it connects to the internet. It will sync all the flights from a device that are yet not on the Alex Cloud. You can always tr manually trigger this event by pressing Sync Flight Now. ERA supports auto upload of flights to WigLite and download of task file from the WigLite. If this synchronization is enabled and you want to fly a task from WigLite, go to Task Page, press Stop Rotary Knob and select Load Task. 
Search for a file and select task you want to fly. Now we can edit this task. Now we will check how to manually send flight to available services. To do so, go to logbook page and select flight you want to send. Select service you want to use and please configure the service in your LX Cloud account. Hope this gave you some overview on how to use LX Cloud with Aravar emitters. We will add more services and solutions in the future. For more details, please check our website, watch other videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.